Hello everyone, I hope everyone's good. Uh, before I start speaking, just enjoy this amusing sunset over here. Yeah, because right now it's uh, 1700 hours. So the sunset in Europe, it's quite fast now. So here you go, the GS 1300 Adventure. I just picked up this bike yesterday. So let's just have a look around. So uh, I just picked up yesterday, right now, just drove a little bit yesterday night and just for a short ride today so right now i think it's uh 100 and uh, 164 kilometers um i chose the trophy model so different from the other ones came with this metal parts the hooks to attach the the side bags it came with a short screen, but I ordered this one, the, the bigger one. Uh, it looks like quite big, but it does not disturb the view. I mean, it does not, the screen does not go over your eyes, even when it's in a taller position. This one is like a full specs. So it has the adaptive heat control, has the adaptive cruise control, the, the touring pack, and all the packs except for those two things that i didn't order the the akrapovic exhaust i keep the standard because on my uh, previous gs the 1250 i had a, an sc project and when we go on the highway it was a little bit too much noisy and uh, so i prefer to keep the original keep the original one on this and also the gearbox I did not choose the automatic, so I keep the standard manual. Um, I ordered the, the side cases, the BMW side cases and the top case, but the BMW does not have yet available for delivery, so has a compensation. They give me this bag from the BMW to attach on the, on the top case place. And when I get the bags, they told me it will be around January. Uh, the side bags, I will not pay for them. They will be an offer. So it was quite nice considering the delay, but this action, it was quite nice from, uh, from BMW. Yes, yeah, something really cool that I like, like this finishing on the engine, like this look like a laser painting and something like that. This coating gives a really, really nice look. I just saw today, even they are a little bit expensive. The attached side bags over here, the BMW ones, cause for now we don't have like a third party. So they're like a 250 euros. And they also have the tank bag that it makes a pivot over here and then attach over here. So when you need to refuel, you just lift it up. It's 300 and something euros, but maybe I will buy it later because I thought it was a little bit expensive. But today on the shop, I went there again. I just saw a bike with those bags installed and they look really nice. Like nice finishing, nice construction. Even they're expensive, but they are really, really good. The, the brakes now, I mean, if, if you guys can see, they said BMW, but this is made by Brembo now. The the previous that I have on a 1250, I think they were from Haynes. And this has this nice wind, uh, wind deflector over here. And it also has the dead angle detector this is quite useful this is one of the things that i wanted the most in the bike because they were are really handy so the 160 kilometers that i drive so far i mean 
comparing this bike now with uh, my previous uh, 1250 GS Adventure. Uh, I mean, the tires, the brakes, they are still like in the, in the braking period. So I cannot have the exact feeling about the braking power or, uh, or even the engine itself, because um, the, the tires still have the, that, uh, that protective coating. So normally when I get new tires, I drive the bike like the first two, 200 kilometers, like in rain mode, so it be smooth more. So what is my first impressions that I get today about the bike? I still cannot speak about the engine itself uh, because I've been driving very smooth. About the brakes, even they are in the break-in period, I I feel that they have more power than the, than the previous one, especially the rear one. One thing that I notice, like the rear disc, the diameter is much bigger than the than the previous one. Uh, one thing that they did nice over here is that for the passenger they get rid of those foot pegs that they have the rubber around that with time they start to rotate and now they go out so they install some foot pegs like this so this is really nice the suspension yeah I feel the suspension a little bit better uh, and it has more, much more options to set, like in even in the road mode. You can adjust the like the spring if you want more soft or more road. Even on the same modes, you can adjust all of that. Just some minor uh, things that I did not like so much until now. This one, like uh, you open this. Yes, it's nice, but you have to be careful because if you open too much, it will touch in here so with time you can start to scratch so maybe later I will put some protective film on this area so for it doesn't scratch and even this space in here this is like for a mobile phone and it has a, a USB plug over here but my iPhone 16 Pro Max cannot fit in here at least with a protective uh, case if I remove it it fits but I will not have space to if I need to charge the phone I want to have space to plug the connector, but right now my phone with a protective case, it doesn't fit. But something nice is that when you, when you lock the steering, I mean, you close this one, and when the steering is locked, I mean, you almost cannot open this because it's touched there. So the other one, you could open, so you could not have nothing precious too much. Uh, I installed the screen protector from DMW and this one the GPS this is the Shigi the Shigi for uh, for BMW so let me just show you guys because it works with a uh, CarPlay or Android Auto and you can also you see you have a connection with the um, with the bike so you have access to also a lot of information like you have different screen screens like a uh, this one, yeah, we go for the CarPlay. Then you have uh, this one that you can see that a lot, like the the range that you have on the fuel tank, engine temperature, bank angle, uh, temperature, uh, environment temperature, uh, gear. Uh, you can go like on uh, this one. Yeah, okay, you can see the bank angle too like with a bigger one and you also have another screen ah this one yeah shows you like the like uh, this is the remain uh today's day and this is the remain uh, i think distance until it makes the next service so engine speed speedometer it's quite nice this device and it works really well uh about the dashboard itself, it's very similar to the previous one, except with some things because it has like a multi-function key. And one thing really cool is not now you can have the screen of the, that you have first, I think it was on the XR1000. So you can have now this screen, like with bank ankles, the traction control uh, users, like the brake users, all that stuff.
uh, the stuff that I tested, the the adaptive uh, cruise control, I tested already a little bit on the highway. It works really well, exactly the same as a car when you have adaptive cruise control. Another thing that works really well, it's this one's the the dead angle detector. Yeah, I make some tests even when you have the car like this side, you almost cannot see. Yeah, it will show you like an orange light when you have something on your mirror, like a, because of the radar detects everything around you. So, and it works quite well too. This one, the finish that they make on the engine, now they make on the swing arm, they make it everywhere. Yeah, I, I didn't, um, when we get the first front in 100 last year, I didn't like this headlight, but I think I'm getting used to it right now. Uh, when I first saw the picture, because I did not saw this bike before, I just saw this one when I pick up mine, I never seen one before. I mean, and the pictures look really big. I mean, this part of here, it's bigger than my previous GS, but on the side, I think the GS was bigger because when I go on the highways, especially my knees go on this area. And I think the previous GS protects my legs a little bit better. Okay, very soon I will make a, um, a video while driving to make like a, every thoughts that I think about the bike. But uh, for now, I will just leave you guys with this one, okay? Okay, so I hope you enjoyed and see you on next video. Bye-bye, take care.